Welcome back guys. We left off with um, creating the different environments dev and QA with the respective empty top files for the time being. Um, what we're going to do now is that we're going to go ahead and copy the user state from the base environment and copy it to the dev environment and specify a different username obviously in a UID and go ahead and uh, see how they how the two mix together with the top.sls. I know we've never run top.sls before. Uh, I've just given you a brief explanation, but I'm just going to go ahead and knock out uh, two birds with one stone, basically uh, showing how top.sls works and how it mixes with other top.sls and what you can do about that. All right, so I've gone ahead and created my my environment. I've I've pushed it up to the master. So now I, I just need to pull it down on the mass on the uh, the salt master server. Oops, I really need to learn the shortcuts. Here we go. So if I just do git pull, it should go ahead. No, it should go ahead and pull the latest files, including the two folders. There we go. Dev and QA. All right, so now that we know that's working properly, let's go ahead and go back to our sublime text here. We'll copy everything from the, from the, oops. Ah, that's because I renamed this directory. So let me go ahead and open that back up. So file open. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this. And we'll use the same key because the key really doesn't matter. We'll just name it something different. We'll go ahead and create a users here. Actually, we'll cut to, we might need to name it differently. So we'll say dev users here. Um, oh, not new file. Actually, let's test it out with just users because I've never tried that before. So let's try users and then init.sls. And then we'll go ahead and replace mo.le with, um, we'll say, cat Douglas. I don't know any type cat Douglases. It's just a name I made up. And all right, so we'll save that, and then we'll name it init.sls. Actually. Let's name it something else. Let's name it dev users .sls because I, I, I wanted to show you what happens when you don't name a, a state in it .sls and how you have to specify it. So we'll give the same key for Moly as count Douglas. So new folder keys and then we'll say new file. And this will be saved as cat Douglas pup. All right. Okay. So now that we've got the key saved, we've got our SLS ready. Let's go ahead and push. Oh, wait, one moment. Uh, we need to go ahead and change this UID because it's the same as Molly. So we'll name that one. And we'll go ahead and add all commits. and push. Okay, so it's been pushed to the master. Now let's go ahead and do another git pull here. Now we're not done just yet. I just like to do everything in, in sequences. So now we need to go ahead and, and change this top.sls. Now, keep in mind, um, this is supposed to be base, like so. 
And this one is supposed to have the name dev because that's our environment. And from the dev and every server in the dev environment will have um, users there. Okay, so the top.sls files, they can be either in separate files, separate top.sls files with their respective uh, environment names. So in this case, this is gonna be dev, and then this one's gonna be base, or they can stay in the same top.sls file in, in one of the environments. So I can have dev here, uh, but it would, and then have my, have my states here, but it would not, uh, it would uh, collide with this one. So then I would need to fix that up. So whatever I apply here will take precedence and everything here will not take precedence. So it's, it's a little, it's a little um, hairy when you get to doing that way. So that's completely up to you. I like it uh, separate because I like to have it all in, in separate environments. I like, I like my environment files to be completely separate and, and respective to themselves. So they only handle themselves rather than being mixed everything into one. Um, primarily because the environment folders are separate. So when you're looking at it from a logical point of view, it makes sense. Somebody who's a newcomer in Salt was like, you know, I wasn't getting confused when you have a, uh, a environment file for all the states in one environment and then you have just a top.sls, or sorry, when you have a top.sls for all the environments in one in one environment rather than you know having their own dedicated environments from there on. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and fix this up because this is supposed to be all oh, right this is empty. So I will put users here as well. And let's make sure we're following the standards for top.sls here. I know this this page is very long and convoluted, but it's not that bad. So there, here's our um, declaration of environments, just like how we have it in our file roots dot or sorry roots dot con. And here it is in the top.sls, so base, and then the respective states. And you can have it in separated, and you can have it all in one, just like so, or you can have a separate and their own top.sls file, and you can name the targets however you see fit. We're not doing that, we're using star at the time being, and for web, I'm having Apache. So we have two. So we have star, where it's gonna be applied for everything, and web is only gonna have Apache. And on the dev users, on the sorry, on the dev top that SLS, it's just users. So let's see how that's handled. I don't know if this one's gonna work. I think it needs to be named differently, dev users, but let's see. Um, so let's go ahead and do by die now. Let's go ahead and push this. I know I can hit always allow, but I don't really like um, doing that because I don't. I want to know when things are happening. All right, so now that that's done, we should be able to do another sudo git pull, get our changes, spectacular. Okay, so I realized that I made a few, actually two errors specifically. One, in this dev file, this, top, this dev top.sls, we didn't name the users init.sls in users, so we have to specify the file name here. So we do users.dev underscore users, not the .sls, leave that part alone. And second thing, if you've since we've changed our uh, environment directories, if you haven't restarted your, your uh, salt state or salt master just yet, you would need to do that. To do so, um, you can just do sudo pkill hyphen nine uh, salt master. Uh, I've already gone and restarted mine, so I'm not going to go ahead and, and do this. So just do that. 
and then just restart salt with running sudo salt master hyphen d and that will go ahead and restart it and should read the new configuration so be careful with that as well all right so now i've gone ahead and add, uh, corrected this i'm going to go ahead and add it and push it to my repository Allow. Okay, so now that it's been pushed, uh, we can do a git pull. Now let's see if we do sudo salt state dot show high state. Now this will show everything that will be run from both the top.sls files. Um, high state might be a little bit too much information, as I've said before, or if I haven't yet. Um, sorry, I apologize for that. High state might be a little bit too much information, and we might want low state instead. So let's see what this says. It says detected conflicting IDs. So this is where this is where it's it's getting uh, issues. I predicted that this we might render this. So because they're both named users, that is going to be a problem. Um, so we want to, oh, I see. It's not the file names, it's actually the ID of the state user Moali. So we need to go ahead and change that here. So if you look at this, it says user Moali. So if we go into our top.sls dev users, we need to change this because it has the same ID as this one. As base users Moali. See? Same exact thing. And salt cannot have same IDs even if they are from different environments. So let's do cat Douglas and we'll change this to cat Douglas as well. Oops. Add commit fix user SLS ID in dev users dot yeah, that'll be fine and push allow. All right, so that's gone ahead and pushed. Let's do another sudo git pull. Now let's see a show high state. All right, so this is a lot of blank lines and a lot of information. So let's try, I mean, it, it shows everything we want to do. So in the base users, we're creating user Moli, name Moli, full name Moli, shell, home, UID 10,000, GID from name, true, groups, uh, wheel, present, order this. Um, and then you'll see Moli key from base and then from dev, dev users, it's, it's showing the same thing here. So, but let's see what a low state looks like. So if we do low state, it's a little bit more condensed. It's a little bit cleaner in my opinion. So um, we'll go ahead and use this more often. So as you can see, it's gonna run this on web01, which is true, so on. And then it's also gonna install Apache and it's not as space dot as high state, but high state does show a little bit more information. Okay, so instead of running show low state, show high state, we're just gonna go ahead and run high state. And this should uh, go through all of our states and apply them. So, and it did exactly just that. So. We've already gone ahead and installed Apache on Web01 as well as the Moali user and made sure the Apache service is running. So it didn't do any of that. It said that it's already done. Um, but it did add the user uh, Cat Douglas and the key for Cat Douglas, which is the same key for, for Moali. And it did the same thing for the Salt Minion Master. Now, if you notice, it didn't do Apache for um, salt minion master because it's not part of the web name. So if you look here in the in the base top.sls, 
we have WebStar to run salt state Apache only, not everything, which is why we don't see Apache in the salt minion master. So it only installed it in web, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, so now that that's done, uh, that's exactly what alt.sls is. Um, you can, we, what we did was we ran a, a, a merged method of the, of the, uh, top.sls. We can have a different method, I believe there's, there's a few of them. So if we said top.sls search merged, um, so the default one is the same. Sorry, let me explain this a little bit before that. Okay. So top file merging strategy is equal to the same. It says when with no environment file, file specified, the top data SL, sorry, the top file in each environment and each top file we process to determine the SLS file to run, run by the minions. By default, it's to be merged together in configurations with many environments. Um, so basically all it's saying is that it's going to go ahead and put them all together and run them all at the same time. Okay, so we can go ahead and change that if you wanted to. Um, however, the only option right for right now seems to be same to force each environment to use its own top file, which is the invite, which is the setup that we have. So we will go ahead and finish here. Uh, I hope you understand how top.sls works now. We have uh, the different environments and so on. And we can separate these by the different sort of um, names by the minion. So like we can say like all dev instances. So if, if the minion name was dev star and then it would, then it would only run all the dev, in, uh, dev states for that particular environment. Uh, but we named it star because we want to be able to go ahead and add the users uh, respectively of wherever they are. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you learned a lot. If you didn't, and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave the, uh, ask, ask the questions in the comments below. I will see you soon in the next video. Uh, next video, we'll be doing more advanced salt states where we'll be using grains and pillar to target, um, or pull data from either grains or pillars and then put them in salt states and feed the data in that way into our states rather than typing them statically like we did in the users. So I'll see you guys then.